Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. By the title of this video, you can see that I got Pussy! Hold on. Alright, come here. I got a kitten. Her name is Posey. I think she's about 13 weeks now. I got her a week ago. She's had like three names since I got her. But I settled on Posey because it's just really easy for me to say. And I like calling her like Pose and Posey Girl. You're so sweet, huh? So basically, I recorded a whole bunch of footage from when I did get her, which I will insert in just a minute. But I wanted to kind of say like why I got a kitten because I feel like like for a little while I was kind of against it but as much as I really do enjoy my alone time like by myself especially when you've grown up with an animal it kind of feels like you're like lacking some sort of presence I guess sometimes this is like sounds so bizarre but when I had Salem back at home I would feel when she would jump up on my feet on the bed and I would feel that and I'd like look, look think she was there and it was like the weirdest feeling I'd like look down and think she was there and I was like okay I'm losing it but I always see like Dev and Kennedy and my mom with their cats and like how much they love them and like I'm always so jealous of wanting to go up and play with them and pet them and like I really just felt like I needed something to give love to and that would like love me back. <laughs> How sad. But I finally was like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna look and if anything comes up, then it works. If it doesn't come up, that means I wasn't meant to get one. I originally applied to this website for these really cute kittens that I saw and apparently they were like very popular. Like a lot of people wanted them. I emailed them and I applied and they were like, we'll get back to you, but these kittens are super popular. Like a lot of people are applying for them and I was just like, great, I'm never gonna get them. And also it had to be two of them, like from the litter you had to take two siblings, which I don't really want to. I didn't want to, I just wanted one. My place is not big enough for two and two is just a handful. So I applied to some other random thing that I found that said we have have kittens and I was just like whatever and I got approved and I texted the girl the number that they gave me and I ended up setting up an appointment literally for the next day which at this point it was last Monday and I was setting up the appointment for Tuesday and I was like I'll just go and look whatever I went by myself didn't bring anything didn't have any cat stuff nothing I went and looked and there was so many kittens like so many in cages in these wire cages in this back room and it made me so sad and I saw her and I really wanted either a gray one or an orange one not that I was like being picky but I like always just really wanted a cat that was like fully gray please stop playing with that no no and my mom has orange ones so I kind of was like okay so maybe I should get gray and guess what she was the only gray girl there right and I really wanted a girl too and I saw her and she was very quiet and shy and she let me hold her and I looked through all the other kittens and as much as I wish I could save like literally all of them I ended up telling the lady that I was interested in her and she goes okay do you want to take her home today and I was like what? And I texted Kennedy and I was like, they're asking me if I want to take her home today or if I want to come back in a couple of days. And Kennedy was like, if you're going to go back and get her anyway, you might as well just take her today. And they let me take a care that they had there. I came home and Deb and Kennedy had a whole bunch of stuff that they let me use. So I would have stuff right away, put her in the bathroom. I ended up going to the pet store that day and got a whole bunch of other stuff. And here we are a week later, right? She's super cute and cuddly. Like she's the most cuddly cat I've ever encountered. She loves to sleep on me she lets me hold her she literally will cuddle me for like two hours like the other night I fell asleep at like 6 p.m. because I was exhausted from the day and she slept on me the entire two hours that I was napping so she's super sweet and good oh funny story not funny at all the day after I got her she was laying on my bed sleeping and I looked down and I saw a flea on her a flea and I panicked and I was like oh my god she has freaking fleas they're gonna be all over my apartment I literally spent the entire night cleaning everything washing spraying it down with like this flea killer I had to give her like a bath with dish soap I had a comb her I I only ended up finding maybe one or two on her so I was like maybe it's not that bad I took her to the vet the next day and he told me he combed her and he was like she's totally fine like you can let her roam she's fine I haven't seen any since fingers crossed that she doesn't have any more because I've had her for a week and she sleeps in my bed and puts her face on my face so if there is fleas they're probably in my hair besides that she's all good she has her vaccinations I do have to get her fixed which kind of sucks but she's too young right now so I have to wait another month or two please stop biting everything but we're training her she's learning. I have a spray bottle. I'm teaching her not to jump on the counter, not to eat the wires, not to knock things over, not to get in my shower and get in the water while I'm showering. <laughs> Excuse me. She's 
super good most of the time, but she also is a kitten, so she's going to be bad out like right now. That's my life. That's been my life for the past week. When I'm gone, I put her in the bathroom because I get nervous that she's not going to behave, and I just know that she will eat wires, and I just don't want anything to happen to her. So she stays in the bathroom when I'm gone. She has everything she needs in there, and slowly, once she's getting better with like not doing all the bad things that she likes to do, I'll let her like into my room when I'm gone, and then eventually she'll be able to be out there too. So yeah, that's my little update on my posy girl. But I did film quite a bit of footage. Maybe it wasn't that much, but I filmed some footage from when the day I got her, so I will insert that right here. I don't know if you can hear, but um, there's a cat in my car. She's so noisy, as you can hear. She keeps meowing. She's so cute and small. She's only 12 weeks old, and I think I'm gonna name her Lucy because Kennedy's cat is named Ruby and like Dev's cat's named Kitty and Honey and like they're all in Y's and I feel like they're like little old lady names and it's so cute. So I feel like Lucy really fits her because then I can call her like Lulu and Lucy Lou and like cute little names like that. Anyway, I can't believe I have a cat. Lucy Lou, you're so noisy. We got home. Hi baby. She's scared and being quiet, but so far I don't have a litter box. Dev's gonna give me one that she doesn't use anymore. So I made this little cardboard box right here and Kenny's gonna put some litter in it just so she can come out of her little carrier and then have a little blanket for her and some bowls. I need to go to Home Goods and get like actual food and water bowls, but she's in my bathroom for now because she needs a little small space to get used to before I let her out the rest of the world. She's so cute and sweet. Hi. Thank goodness, she's so tiny. Get down from there. She's in the bathtub. Oh, that's good because when I look she was hiding underneath it. Come out from there. Come here. Come out of the bathtub, please. Come on. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Kenny came to save the day with some litter and food because I have literally nothing. Come out of the bathtub. Come here. Oh God, come here. Ah! Gosh, crazy little thing. Go in your litter. Your <laughs> minuscule litter box. Penelope. Oh, Helium. Penelope is cute. And they call her P. Or Pen. Penny. 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 Penny is cute too. Penelope. I told you it would come to me when I saw her. Oh my fucking god. She is so cute. <laughs> She looks more like a Penelope than a Lucy. Yeah. I don't know. I was calling her like Lucy Lou and Lulu, but like Penelope, I feel like fits her. Penelope. It's like a little British cat. Penelope. Penelope. Drink your water, Penelope. Honestly, she's doing a lot better than Ruby did because Ruby was hiding under this thing for like two hours and behind the toilet and she wouldn't eat or drink for a while. Which I'm surprised because when I went there, not that she was shy, but she kept like just trying to sleep and she wasn't really meowing. Like all the other ones were really like going crazy at me. All right, we're still, look at my hair. Oh my God. We're still vlogging on my phone because my my camera is plugged in because I filmed yesterday and it's just too much footage all at once. But she's in the bathroom, she's sleeping. I put her in her little bed where she crawled in there, but I put a blanket in there so now she likes it a lot better. I'm gonna go run to the store. I have some things I have to get for her. I'm gonna get her some toys, like a scratching post, some like pet wipes and stuff like that and a litter box scooper. And then I'm gonna go to the gym because I need to do something else today. When Kennedy got Ruby, she, I remember like, felt like she was going crazy because she was sitting in the bathroom all day and I'm like, you can't do that. Like they need their little alone peace time to sleep and you need to still, like do the things that you need to do. I think I might leave her in the bathroom tonight and then maybe like tomorrow I'll let her out and let her like come explore. But I just can't believe I'm a cat now and I'm thinking I'm going towards Lucy as the name. It's like I'll see if it fits her for the next like few days and if I decide to change it. I really like Penelope too, but I just feel like Penelope doesn't have a nickname. Like I can't like make it shorter. Like I don't want to call her P or like Pen. Like I like Lucy because I can call her Lulu. Where are you? Where is she? Oh, oh my god. What are you doing back there? Come out. Come here. She's waiting for me to get out of my bath. She's like, what are you doing? Sitting in a tub of water, you weird human. Oh no. Please stay away from the bathtub. I only can imagine what is going to happen. Oh, I changed her name, by the way, to Posey. Lucy just like wasn't sitting right with me. Like I, she's about to jump in here and she's going to drown. <laughs> Please keep your distance. But I changed her name to Posey just because, I don't know, I couldn't call her Lucy for some reason. Like I don't say that easily, so. Posey it is and I like it better and she actually listens to it. And now she's going in the back. Oh my God. Girlfriend, you better be careful. You're gonna be very regretful if you decide to come in here. What's she doing? <gasps> Jesus, please be careful. I'm currently in bed editing Free the Girls podcast. 
check it out and she is asleep right there on my bed it's so nice because i know exactly where she is i can see her and she's just being so good and letting me get all this done i was worried that i would like try to sit down and do this and she'd be running crazy and i'd be like worried that she's gonna break something but she's being so good hopefully the first line of sleep goes just as smooth as it is right now i locked her out of like the kitchen area because i noticed she's climbing on the counters and stuff like that and that scares me so she can only get to the bathroom where her like litter box and food and stuff is and then the closets doors are shut so it's literally just here and the bathroom so she can sleep with me and then she can go there if she needs to but that's it but anyway so far the first day is going pretty good i'm hoping that she cuddles me at some point but i won't push it for the first night jump up there and get on the counter where she's not supposed to be because she wants my food. Show everybody what you're doing. <laughs> you trying to get the phone? To give me back my phone. She loves to play with literally anything. I'm trying to get ready and she insists on walking. Look, she's just no space around here. Say hi to everyone. She also loves to look out the window and watch the cars go by. So yeah, that was everything from when I got her. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Like she loves being all over me. She loves watching me do things. It's literally like exactly what I wanted or needed in a cat. My sister's always saying like Ruby is not as cuddly. Like sometimes it's like a rare occasion if she cuddles her. But in my case, if I'm laying down, she's on my face. It's really sweet. Sometimes it's a lot, but I love it. And I am so happy I got her and rescued her because where she was was not the best. It was not cleanly. Like the cages were dirty and I just felt so bad. And I think all she really did all day was sleep because the cages were so small. She couldn't even run around and she's so full of energy. Like I can't imagine her being in a cage. But yeah, that's why I decided to get a cat because I was lonely and needed love. And she gives me all the love in the world. I don't know what she's doing, probably destroying something. But I think that's all for now. I'm sure I will film vlogs. I wanna vlog more, so I'm sure I'll film vlogs with her and you'll get to see a lot more of her as she gets bigger. Oh, she's the type of cat she is. I looked it up and I'm pretty sure she's a I'm pretty sure she's a Russian blue. So they're like a little bit fluffier than like normal domestic short haired cats. And I can tell that she is because she's so like soft and fluffy. Like her fur, especially right on her like little chest. It's like so freaking fluffy. And she's so sweet. Oh, are you gonna lay down? We good? <laughs> no! <laughs> she just tried to run at me. Crazy little girl. I think that's it for this video. Anyway, I am gonna go play with her because she's clearly full of energy right now. But that is all for now. I hope you guys liked watching this video. If you wanna keep up with Posey, follow me on Instagram. I post her literally every day. Like my Instagram is turning into a cat Instagram. Come here, say bye. Say bye to your fans. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye, say bye. <laughs>